There are skulls, if you've noticed. There are little skulls on the scarf. Yeah. Jonas complimented me, so I think we're good. <laughs> So this is actually a first for Cinemacy at the Sundance Film Festival. We're going to be doing a red carpet interview for a midnight movie, and that movie is going to be Jonas Ackerlund's Lords of Chaos. Now the film centers around a Norwegian black metal band in the 1980s, and I don't know much more about that. I'm going to ask the cast and crew in a few minutes when they come out on the red carpet. Yes, I was a big fan of the whole genre. It's so special and Weird. Honestly, wasn't a big fan until I, you know, read the script and then and then started studying these these boys and um, yeah, I, I eventually found the beauty in it, but it took a while. You know, the lyrics are pretty rough. I've been saying I'm glad I didn't know it when I was a teenager. <laughs> I would have been even angrier and more <laughs> insane. I was fascinated by these young boys and their dreams and their. You know, like their story. So, so it it is a film with a lot of music in it, but uh, it's it's more about their relationships and what happened to them. Surprisingly humorous, right? Yeah, yeah. that's one of the first yeah. things I thought. Yeah. And it was funny on set, but I just didn't think that it would come across in the edit. And exactly. I was watching it, and I laughed. Yeah. So you guys have seen it, the finished product already? Finished ish. No, no. Ish. It was a few months back, so it's like yeah, not it completely. Like, uh, this is going to be a, probably a different version from what we've that. seen. It's actually, we know exciting. it's a totally different version than what we saw. So yeah, I'm super it's actually a to see totally it. different movie. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. it's not probably like with different actors. We're not, we're not actually we're not, yeah, no one's in it. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, no. Yeah. no. Yeah. Well, there's so many amazing images from from the film. I was curious what they would use, and that sums it up. It's me with a burning church in the center. Dig it. We'll listen to all kinds of stuff while getting makeup done. You know, the the makeup apartment they just got to. Mess around with what they, they wanted. They had very good music taste. They did. I actually, I, I actually lent them as part of a playlist one of oh, the days. So you were responsible. We were like in the makeup department, we were listening to the beat just, just to have like a little bit of balance. That stuff gets so dark and melancholic that sometimes you just want to listen to the Bee Gees and like be around something cute, you know. But I shouldn't really be talking about that in front of Jonas, near Jonas, because he doesn't know. <laughs> I know already going into this that there's a lot of people that feel so close to this story. That they feel that it's so personal. It's, it's one of those stories that people almost feel like they own. This story has lived for so many years and it's still relevant and it's still important and it's still a fact that young boys around the world is doing stupid things. At the same time it's entertaining and it's fun and it's crazy and all those things but to me that's the important part of it. I hate to admit it, but the guy Varg, I kind of, I was, I always kind of liked his music the most. The first Burzum album, or the first Mayhem album, Death Crush. I think the catchiest is um, Death Crush by Mayhem. But Mayhem Freezing Moon is like this song, which is also like for the movie. I'd probably say Freezing Moon because like that's one Death I'm most Crush. familiar with. That's is cool, but like, I don't no, know. No, Freezing Moon, freezing yeah, moon do Freezing is like Moon. My favorite. Mayhem, uh, Freezing Moon, do that. Yeah, um, that was by Mayhem, yeah, that's probably. Yeah. It's, it's, prob it's one of their most popular. With headphones, I yeah. think. Yeah. But not too high volume, because no, no, it's going to be high. painful. The true Norwegian black metal, I, I would say that Mayhem is a good start. And their classic song, Freezing Moon, is probably one of the, one of the good ones. Can I have two? Yeah, um, so I would get um, black coffee for Tom Waits and Iggy Pop. I want because I would, I, so the reference is uh, coffee and cigarettes. That's all I'm going to say. Coffee and cigarettes, seen with Tom Waits and Iggy, and they drink coffee. So I would go and smoke cigarettes and drink black coffee with them. That's my answer. I'm really proud of that. Yeah, I would probably... I've been um, here the whole time, by the way. Yeah, he's always been here. It's just, it's, yeah, yeah. Um, I would, I would, I know. I would want to, you know, I would want to buy a beer for Kurt Cobain. Oh, that's right. Because, like, I think feel like he would be cool, just to, like you know, just like you know, grab a beer with Kurt Cobain. Mm. Yeah, or Anthony De La Torre or if I got to choose. But like, musician. Yeah. musician. I would want to do that so too. That buy a drink for yourself. Yeah. You want me to buy your drink? Yes. So I'm gonna buy a drink for him, but I wish I could buy it for Kurt Cobain as well. Okay. 
Thank you.